Here's what the Supreme Court looked like going into Wednesday, but now since Anthony Kennedy announced his retirement, it leaves a big question mark. You see, Justice Kennedy has always been a swing vote. Some have called it Kennedy's court. Justice Kennedy has voted with conservatives on certain issues like blocking some gun control measures and Tuesday upholding President Trump's travel ban. He has also though sided with liberal justices like in same-sex marriage cases and on abortion rights issues. Both sides of the abortion debate think this could be a game changer. There's possibly a chance for the court to overturn Roe v. Wade. Either way, Justice Kennedy's retirement means the court will become more conservative. Wednesday, key Democrats urged Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell not to hold a vote on a replacement in an election year. Remember when McConnell blocked Obama appointee Merrick Garland in 2016? Well, Minority Leader Chuck Schumer certainly remembers that. He wants a vote after the midterms when Democrats could control the Senate. Anything but that would be the absolute height of hypocrisy. McConnell is making a distinction between presidential election years and midterms. It's imperative that the president's nominee be considered fairly and not subjected to personal. As attacks. for what could be on the docket in the months and years to come, Seattle University professor Andrew Siegel thinks besides abortion issues, the high court could tackle LGBTQ rights, gun control, labor unions, and election law like partisan gerrymandering. And it could even revisit same-sex marriage. I'm Ryan Takeo, King 5 News.